meine Damen und Herren. Äh, let's get ready to rumble! You see the instructions in the dressing room. I want you to obey my commands at all times. I want you to protect yourself at all times. Do you have any questions? Any questions? Touch them up. Go. Would you get him in there? He's ducking just like we said he was going to do. Just start ducking, slap him with the hook. With the right hand, don't put no power on it. Just shoot it with the speed. When you first heard him with the right hand, you heard him with the speed right hand. Go back to the speed, the hand speed. Two, one. It's not the hand back. Stop, you get ready to throw hands. Just him with the jab. You don't got to do no power right now. All speed. Keep slapping him with that left hook. In the third, ducking, bobbing, moving, moving forward, throwing a left hook, and some body shots that connected. Bianetta tries to take the fight to Vlad. Finally, he gets the knockdown. And then it was just a matter of time. Bianetta somehow got out of that round. Right back. Step right back. You got both both special on DJ. Jab, because he's like this. Jab, you open up the hook. You open slap with the hook and shoot the right hand down the middle. The right hand will be sitting right there. Keep and just keep boxing what you're doing. He's trying to do something wild. The DJ is going to catch me anything wild. Right every time, every time she's ready to break up. Яркого удара после которого соперник оказался на полу второй раз. Another Klitschko KO. Show the... Oh, and that's, that's it. Klitschko that's it. Him down for the third time in the fight. That should be it. I think that's going to be it. Dianetta is not getting up from this one. Referee Ernie Sharif counting no, he's up. And no. that's it. That's a good call that's by Ernie Sharif. A merciful call. He did get to his feet, but not to continue. And Klitschko wins with three knockdowns and finally the TKO here in the sixth round. Here's the sixth round. This is the final knockdown, which led to the stoppage by referee Ernie Sharif. I was almost hoping that it that it ended at this time, or even earlier, because it was just one side. So there's the final knockdown. He did get up on his feet, which was which was pretty amazing here. I didn't think he would get back up by the count of ten. No, but he, you know what? He wanted to continue, which shows what a man's man he is. But just again, not in the same league, not in the same caliber. He it's even make not it as easy as people would think to fight against an undefeated fighter. Yes, he's younger. He has less experience. I could tell at the ring, but he was trying. He was swinging a lot. Uh, those punches were very powerful, and of course, I had to defend my title since I always did. Maybe it was, he definitely, he, he tried like no one else. He, even if he has not so much experience, he, he was trying, he was coming forward, he was trying to challenge the champion. And um, I'm sure it wasn't easy for him, but he was definitely pumped up. I also give a lot of respect to him. He's a cancer survivor, he knows how to fight in life, and he gave him a good fight to him. It doesn't matter who I fight, I'm getting uh, criticized anyway. And we've seen how it was with David Hay, we've seen in other fights. I just can't continue as a man of Stewart was telling me. Just keep going, keep knock people out and um, everything else. Respect and knowledge, uh, respect and, and uh, everything else coming on its own. So I will continue my, my performances and I'm looking forward to fight again twice this year. Whoever is going to be, I'm ready. I'm just enjoying my time in sports and it's it's such an enjoyable thing to get ready for the fight, get my workouts done and then perform, especially in sold out arenas. Yes, uh, I'll be back. I'll be back. It's at 2 minutes, 52 seconds of round number 6, the winner by knockout victory and still the heavyweight champion of the world, Dr. Steel.
I think that uh, Povetkin has to defend his title first. He's fighting in May. And uh, of course, I'm looking forward to this fight. Two Olympic champions are going to fight each other. He's undefeated. And um, I think he won Olympics in 2004. And I was winning it in 1999 in Atlanta. Um, and I think it's going to be a great performance, for, um, especially for, for the fans, for the boxing fans. I think it's going to be an exciting fight.